Hello everyone. So here we are, we're back at the bench again. Today we've got a 365 X torque. We're gonna pour it up. And so one of my viewers had uh, suggested that what I try to do is uh, go into a little bit more detail or try to detail what I'm doing just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is, the first step I'm going to do is uh, set up my degree wheel, get top dead center, and find out what the stock numbers are, and then we can decide what we're going to do or what kind of numbers we're looking for and how we want to go about porting it. And so the very first step is I got my cylinder on there. I just got a couple of bolts holding it down and it's it's on there pretty good. Um, the flywheel um, is on there. I took the, the retainer nut off and uh, so it's still on there. I've already I've already checked for squish and stuff so what I want to do now is I want to establish top dead center so I'm going to just turn the flywheel over until I can roughly see where top dead center is and then I'm gonna get my degree wheel oh I can't put that on yet I gotta get my flywheel adapter on there first where'd I put that there it is so there's these flywheel adapters that I make and uh, uh, they're drilled and tapped for different size uh, cranks and stuff, threads and pitches. So I just got to turn that on there, spin it on until it butts up against the, the flywheel and then I want to put a piston stop in. Turn the flywheel backwards until it hits the pit. The piston hits the piston stop, and then I want to tighten down my degree wheel adapter on there until it's on really snug. Take out my piston stop, and then that's pretty close to top dead center. Get my degree wheel and spin it on to the, fly, the degree wheel adapter. So it's right there. Now I'm going to mount my pointer, my little wire pointer, in this hole right here. So it's kind of, I want to have my mark on my degree wheel close to where that pointer is going to be so I know it's there then I'm just going to make sure that the degree wheel is on there good and tight and then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to start looking for top dead center here in a minute but I'm going to use my dial indicator to do it so I'm gonna get something that I can magnetize it to and there we go so now we are Looking for top dead center. Now I'm gonna have to prop up my base there a little bit. So I'll just get another little shim here. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Hopefully. pointer on there and I need the correct screw for that which I'm not never got on there yet. Okay, 
Yeah, it's cinched down pretty good, and I want to have it. So now I can start looking for top dead center using my dial indicator. Boom, done. We got top dead center. Okay, that's all there is to it. How long did that take? Just a few minutes, that whole process. I'm not fiddling around with a drill chuck um, and going back and forth, doing little movements here and there, adjusting the degree wheel on the flywheel. It's at top dead center. This thing does not lie. I'm at top dead center. I'm confident that it's exactly where it needs to be. Uh, so from there, now we can start um, establishing what our uh, factory numbers are. And after that, we just uh, uh, figure out what we want to port to and uh, mark up the inside of the cylinder where those will be, those numbers where we want them to be. And then uh, figure out all that, do some grinding, and see where she ends up at. Okay, so I uh, hope that explained that, that part a little bit better. Um, and you saw how long it took. It was just hardly any time at all. Okay, so we'll see you on the next one. Until then, tap for light, eh?